Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And, um, let me go ahead and start by saying is, uh, I'm feeling like crap right now. I'll, I'll kind of explain more as the uh, cast goes on. But, uh, let me go ahead and uh, intro this music real quick. Uh, this is going to be Gothic Battleship Ambient, um, uh, Segmentum Obscurus Colossal Mega Church Dripping Through Somewhere. But uh, this is another one that came from Prometheus Studios, <clears throat> um, the place where uh, where I get all my uh, my dark gothic monk chants, that kind of that kind of music. If you ever heard me uh, play it on here, <clears throat> that's the uh, Prometheus Studios is the channel where it all comes from. So, so let me go ahead and bring it back to start. Whoops, I forgot to sound test this. So. so yeah. So it looks like I just kind of jumped the gun on this. I just have to uh, adjust the sound through my OBS. Okay, so, um, but I don't really have a whole lot. Again, I'll, I'll kind of explain as the cast goes on. But, um, once again, though, I did another pinball stream. And, um, <clears throat> this time around, not quite as good. Um, I actually want to say it was more of a it was more of a typical Tuesday session where uh, when I first start doing uh, FX3 it actually starts off great. Just, uh, I mean, right off the bat, I just I just crushed one of my old high scores. So, but, uh, man, I'm uh, taking a drink of some Arizona green tea. First table I play, I demolish my old high score. But um, after that though, it just uh, started going downhill. But it's uh pretty typical for uh, my pinball streams, my uh, weekly ones. Um, FX3, I start off totally awesome, but then as the uh, as the stream goes on, I start getting worse and worse. And I need to check something else here. Oh, and um, I got a little, I got a little hasty um, setting this up and everything. One, I don't, I don't have a whole lot, but uh, but two, because of the music I'm playing, as you as you can tell, there's like animation going on in the background, so it's gonna jack up the file size on this. So, I kind of need to get this taken care of early. So, anyway, um. Back on this, uh, back on point. Um, but uh, once uh, once I got to uh, once I got to pinball arcade, all of a sudden it just you suck. Yes. So uh, it was pretty much that. I think um that I can think of. I think there was probably one table I did good on, uh, Earthshaker, but all the rest I sucked. Then um, and then I went ahead and played some Zachariah pinball, but didn't make any headway on that. I mean, all those those tables are legit hard. So it's like Rube Goldberg made those tables. So, but uh, but probably from here on out, I'll probably just stick with uh just the weekly pinball, just on Tuesdays. So. 
And, um, one other thing I did try doing is, uh, I also fired up another, um, uh, it's, uh, it's a pixel pinball game called Demon's Tilt. Uh, but it plays a lot like Zachariah Pinball. Just, the, the table's real clusterfucky. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's a Zachariah table with pixels. So, I tried playing it for a little bit. But, uh, it, it just wasn't happening. So, I ended up, uh, giving up on that. Then, um, and then, like usual, uh, I've been playing some Idle Champs. But, uh, like yesterday, I just, uh, I basically set it up for autopilot. And then it just, uh, shut the game down and let it run in offline mode. So, that kind of tells me that I'm starting to burn out on the idle game genre. So chances are I might be looking to play something else. I don't know though. There's something else I was wanting to say about that too. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I can't... Like I said, there was something else I was wanting to say about this game. But uh, I can't remember what it was, so I'll just go ahead and move along. Then, um... Another video, it uh, popped up on my YouTube recommendations. But, uh, it, uh... Some guy, I can't remember his name, but, uh... Him and, uh... Mark Leda. Or Laita, or however you pronounce it. But, uh, he had a... He runs a channel, one of my, one of my favorites actually, called uh, Soft White Underbelly, where he'll take um, he'll take and he'll interview heroin addicts, crack addicts, uh, pimps, prostitutes. Um, there he actually uh, interviewed a schizophrenic on there, and it's like, it's like, yep, been there. Although I think he was more uh, I think he had more, he had it more severely than I got it. It just, it just, I can, I can, I can pretty much tell by looking. He does all the, this guy does all the shit that I do, but he's just more extreme about it. But anyway, um, I don't, but I don't know the name of, uh, I don't name of the guy that was interviewing him, but they decided to go ahead and take a walk around Skid Row. Um, it says, for those that don't know, it's this, I think it's a street in L.A. It's, I think it's considered the the most slummy in the entire country or something like that. I can't remember the uh, what the exact description was, but yeah, it's some pretty bad elements in Skid Row. But these two guys, they decided to go ahead and take a walk, take a walk and check everything out and stuff like that. And, you know, and there, you know, and there's an, he's getting interviewed and all that. Just watched about half of that. Half of that. Just some good stuff. So. But otherwise, um. My whole night pretty much turned to crap right around 8 p.m. Um, I decided to go ahead and take a one hour nap and then. After that, it's like I couldn't freaking wake up. Like I said, I, I was gonna just got to take like a 90 minute nap, then just get up and go about my business, but once my alarm, once the alarm went off, um, I shut it off, ended up oversleeping like a half hour, 45 minutes. Uh, got a little pissed at that. Uh, forced myself away, got something to eat, but then Laid back down for another 90 minutes. Uh, think I overslept another half hour. So yeah, it pretty much pretty much a waste of a night.
Uh, but otherwise, uh, that's pretty much all I got. Um, oh, and I do, I do need to mention another thing. Um, it's probably going to be something that I'll have to decide on a whim or on the spur of the moment. But today, there's going to be a chance that there might not be a stream at all. Because I might need that extra time for uh, cleaning. Because I've been saying this for the past few days. But on Wednesday, I have an apartment inspection. Um, the, the, fire, the fire chief and the landlady is going to be coming in inspecting my apartment. Looking for uh, fire hazards and whatnot. Um, they do this every year, so. But, um, I might need a, but they're doing this in like the early to mid afternoon. Um, when I, when I normally get a stream going. So I'll definitely probably won't be streaming on Wednesday, but again, on Tuesday, I might, uh, I might need all that time for, uh, again, cleaning and getting things set up and all that. But it's got to be something I'll probably decide just uh, on the spur of the moment. So. But again, um, that's that's all I got. Um, thanks for tuning in and listening to me. I always appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, which will be my last one for the week. So. Just that. Okay, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming by, and see you all next time. Bye for now.